Thank you. Thank, thank you, Chair Kruger. Um, first of all, uh, I wish I, had, I could say something for all of you, but I'm going to have to focus on NFIB because I'm a proud member. And, uh, and I want to just ask a question. You brought up the unemployment insurance debt. It's very timely because I literally got an email this morning from my wife, uh, which she forwarded an email from our, from our uh, uh, payroll company about the amount of money they're going to impound in order for New York, State, uh, New York State's failure to do anything about the unemployment insurance debt. And she lists the thousands of dollars that our little companies are going to pay uh, in order to satisfy the, uh, the penalties and interest. Uh, on top of paying the highest unemployment insurance uh, rates now, every business in New York State is paying. Can you please explain to the panel what this is doing to small businesses and what they are actually paying for because of New York State failing to apply any money whatsoever from the federal uh, COVID relief money to the unemployment insurance debt. Please explain that. Sure. So there's, we're, they're really being hit on multiple fronts. So when the, solv when the solvency of the fund hits zero, which New York's is at because it's still in debt, it triggers the highest possible state UI tax rates. So you're in automatically in the highest sort of bucket. Mm -hmm. um, so that averages about an extra $250 per employee per year, right? And we've been doing this now for a few years. Mm -hmm. um, but you also have to pay the interest on the state's debt. So uh, in every summer, businesses are, are hit with what we call an interest assessment surcharge, which is $20 to $25, depends on the interest level um, per employee. But also, the federal government has a tool to try and get uh, um, state governments to pay back their debt by offsetting the federal UI taxes. So New York, because it's been in debt after a couple of years now, our FUDA, what they call the FUDA adjustment, has been offset. So, in it, so we're paying the highest possible state UI taxes, plus the interest assessment surcharge, plus extra federal UI taxes. All in all, you're talking north of $300 per employee that businesses are paying per year. Um, and we've been, again, we've been doing this now for a couple of years. So you're, this is, these are thousands of dollars. This is a lot for small businesses. That's yeah, a lot of money. Absolutely. And we never got an answer from the Department of Labor as to how much fraud was experienced. But uh, the comptroller estimated about $11 billion, which is about the same amount of money that we, we were in debt. So essentially the debt uh, that every small business, every business in New York State is paying off now uh, is a result of uh, fraud, unchecked fraud from, from in the unemployment insurance system, wouldn't you say? So it's, you know, I, I think the, the Department of Labor has one set of numbers. The comptroller obviously has another set of numbers. It's unclear sort of I don't think the Department numbers. of Labor gave us any numbers. I think <laughs> they, they, they didn't give us any numbers as to what the fraud was experienced, did they? Yeah. So, I mean, fraud was certainly something that should have been addressed, needed to be addressed, wasn't addressed. And that certainly led to a significant flow of dollars out of the system that, unfortunately, we haven't gotten back. Thank you very much. <laughs>